Okay, this time I'm going to use the same numbers. Okay, so let's come up with a math problem. I've got a couple of dogs and um, let's say I've got 71 pounds of dog food at my house. That's a lot of dog food. And my couple of dogs eat four pounds of dog food each day. I want to know how many days it's going to be until my dogs run out of food. Okay, how many days can I feed my dogs? So I'm going to take that 71 pounds of food that are sitting at my house. I'm going to take that four pounds of each day. I'm going to do the math. And look, I end up, it's the exact same math problem I just did. I asked how many times does four go into seven? One times. One times four is four. Seven minus four is three. Bring down the one. Four goes into 31 seven times. Seven times four is 28. And then we subtract and we get three. I can't have in 17 remainder three days. My, um, there's not such a thing as a remainder three days. So how many days can I feed my dogs? Can I feed them 17 days or can I feed them 18 days? See, this time, the correct answer is 17. I can feed them for 17 days, and then by the time it gets to evening, guess what? I'm going to be running out of food. So 18 would be the wrong answer in this case. In our last word problem with the rows of seats, 18 was the correct answer. Do you see how you have to interpret the remainder? You have to say, what is the question asking me to see... Um, what remainder, if 17 or 18, would make sense in answering the question. You're going to practice that today in your rotation. It's a little bit tricky, so you're going to have to think.